Doug Eckert of the New Orleans Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division and Sergeant Robert uh, Barrera of the New Orleans Police Department's Homicide Section. So this morning at 3.10 a.m., 8th District officers responded to a call of a shooting at the corner of uh, Bienville and Decatur Street. Upon arrival, they located the victim suffering from a gunshot wound. He was transported to University Hospital where unfortunately he later died. Um, also on the scene, the officers responded, as they were responding, they located the shooter on scene. He remained on scene with his weapon. We had about a one minute response time. The call came in at 3.10 a.m. The officers got there at 3.11 a.m. so they were able to apprehend the shooter on scene. He was taken into custody and he did make statements indicating that he was the shooter. Uh, at this point in the investigation, it appears that this is an unfortunate workplace incident. The shooter and the victim used to work together. Um, they were having some sort of altercation or disturbance about that, and that's when uh, the shooter retrieved the weapon from a nearby vehicle, returned to the bar, and then shot um, his former co-worker. So that is, that is the theory that we're working on now based on what we know of in the investigation. The entire incident was captured by the Real Time Crime Center, so we, we really appreciate them being there. And the homicide detectives continue to work to uh, locate additional witnesses and or video in the area that could help them uh, put together the rest of this investigation. Does anybody have any questions? Did the shooting happen inside of a bar, and did they work at that bar? They worked at that bar. It happened outside the bar. Okay, so they were they working together that night? No, ma'am. Uh, the shooter um, was an employee. The victim was a former employee, a recently former employee. So and you said the shooter remained on scene with the weapon. Did he give you any indication that he felt justified in what happened, or what? So he remained on scene with the weapon as to whether what his defense is going to be. That's going to be for him and his attorney to speak about. According to reports, this is the 100th homicide of the year. Can you speak to that? This is the first homicide in the 8th district this year. It appears on the video that uh, the victim uh, was a, he was assaulted, right, or uh, something about aggravated uh, aggravated battery. So was he trying to defend himself is what I'm trying to ask. So an aggravated battery is when somebody commits a battery with a weapon. The only person that we know to have a weapon in this instance was the shooter himself. Are you looking for another suspect? Because I understand there's an accomplice in the video. There's a truck that pulls up and gives that, uh, something like that. So we're not going to discuss other individuals, although we know who was in that truck um, and we're aware of who they are. We've spoken to them, and, and that's, that's that. Uh, also, was this an argument that led up to the actual shooting? That's what I said, right. So they were having some sort of argument. The shooter went to a nearby vehicle, retrieved the weapon, returned, and then obviously shot the unfortunately. What and does it say? I do, but the coroner is going to have to give you all that information so we can be as accurate as possible. What's the shooter going to be charged with? Second degree murder. Uh, this is the second time this has happened, but you found the suspect. Uh, what does it just say about the French border and incidents like this? So when you say this is the second time this happened, uh, you mean that this week. is the second shooting that we've had in the week. Yes. And in both instances, officers immediately apprehended the suspects. The one that was at Contine <laughs> Bourbon, uh, the officers caught him as he was running away. He was arrested and charged with uh, with attempt uh, with aggravated battery. And then in this instance, this is the first murder that we've had this year in the 8th District. And it's really unfortunate, but by all accounts, it appears to be some sort of workplace dispute. In the Bourbon Street incident, do you think that that's the only suspect that you guys are looking for? We know it is based on real-time crime center cameras, his statements, and statements of our victims. Last week you were talking about the fact that uh, you look looking for witnesses and whatnot, but you have that video evidence that's the best witness. I mean, how important is that in solving this? Right, so video evidence is always extremely important in telling us exactly what happened. So a lot of these questions uh, that you have about his defense or about things that he may say or do, from our point of view, the cameras will tell us all what actually happened, and then that will be an opportunity for us to examine uh, everybody's actions. Any other questions? Did he appear to, to, to try and leave the scene, or was he just like, no, he was waiting for police to... Our response time was a minute. <laughs> so what his intentions were, I can't tell you because we got there within one minute. Okay. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Thank you all it. very much.